Well, hey YouTube, wanted to bring you guys an update on the Fusion. Um, the car has about 32,500 and some odd miles on it now. Um, and as you can probably tell, the car is absolutely disgusting, but it's no sense in washing it, obviously, because the weather sucks. Um, so I'm home for spring break, and the car has had quite a lot change since uh, I talked to you guys last about it. Uh, so if you look at the tires, like I said um, in my last update video, I did get new tires. Uh, these are Hankook V12 Evo 2s. 24540 R19 is the tire size. The car came factory with 23540 19s, but when you go up to a 245, you can get a much better selection. Um, taking a look at the sidewall, Hankook um, Ventus V12 Evo 2 24540 R19 um, 98Y is the speed rating. These tires are absolutely phenomenal. I love them, love them, love them. Um, but like I said, the car is disgusting. You can see all the uh, road trip grime. I drove home from College Station in the pouring rain. Um, and Highway 79 and Interstate 45 are really good ways to get your car really dirty. And the car was filthy before I left. Um, so a couple other changes that have happened to the car. Um, the Plasti Dip on the mirrors did finally kick the bucket. It decided it had had enough. Um, I did end up having to put the stock airbox back on the car because I believe the intake I had on it, which was kind of janky in the first place, was causing the car to lean out or run too rich or something, I don't know. Um, but the placement of the MAF wasn't where it needed to be. Um, I did get new wipers again. Uh, these are just Ford wipers. Um, front Plasti Dip is still holding up pretty well. Uh, there are a few places where it needs to be touched up, but it's not bad. Still really like that on the front of the car. Um, I get compliments on that all the time. Uh, this is doing fine. Again, car's disgusting. Uh, yellow fogs are doing fine. Really, really like those. Um, and everybody else seems to as well. Uh, again, Plasti Dip let go on the mirrors. Um, more nastiness. Uh, the exhaust still is fine. Um, not super, super happy with the sound of it right now. It's kind of whooshy. Uh, but, I mean, that's okay, I guess. There's really not a lot I can do about it at this point. Um, I did get a new license plate frame because my other one was super faded. I did plasti dip that, but I think you guys saw that. Uh, tint on the taillights is doing really well. They're extra tinted right now because the car's so dirty. Um, I have about three or four thousand miles on these tires probably and uh, it's probably getting close to time to have them rotated inside is just as dirty as the outside um, probably gonna clean out the interior today but as far as the outside goes I don't know when I'll clean it um, go ahead and start it up like I said it has 32,526.9 miles on it um, need some gas um, so I guess we'll go ahead and do a little drive in the car and I'll go over some of the other things that it's been doing. Um, so let me get my camera wedged in there and we'll take it for a drive. Go ahead and take the car for a little drive and um, talk about some of the other interesting things the car has been doing. Um, so last mm, Tuesday or Wednesday, I don't remember what day it was, I was in College Station still and the car went to get in it, it was about 9 o'clock at night, went to get in it to take a friend home, and uh, all the vehicle's power came on, wipers, turn signals, everything worked, um, but the engine wouldn't do anything. Just absolutely nothing would happen. Um, so that's just super exciting. Um, wound up having to disconnect the battery to reset the ECU, and then once the battery got hooked back up, car started up just fine, hasn't done it again. Um, which I sort of expected to at some point. Um, the engine has kind of started to make some funny noises here and there. Watch out, squirrel! Um, but they're not bad, I guess. Just different noises. Um, like I said, the exhaust, uh, when it's not under, when it's not in boost, it sounds really good. It has a nice, uh, mellow hum to it, but once you get in boost, as you'll hear, uh, whenever I punch it, when we get out of the neighborhood, it gets super, super whooshy. All you hear from the back is just tons of whoosh from the turbo. 
Um, as far as putting the stock airbox back on, like I said, it was causing the car to, uh, I don't know if it was run too rich, run too lean, or what, but it would cause it to die. Um, basically, it was just, it would be idling, and then you would just, it would happen like right after you would start the car. You'd start it up, put it in gear, be backing out of your parking spot or whatever, and then once you uh, would put it like in drive to go forward, you could just feel the whole car start to shake, which was really strange. Um, but whatever, I guess. Oh, we'll go ahead and punch it real quick. And that was a run to about 65. So the car's still plenty quick. Um, but like you can hear, you just get tons of whoosh after having that glass pack put in. But it's better than the drone. Um, I do miss the raw noise of no muffler at all, but uh, driving three hours back and forth from home to College Station, that's just, it was obnoxious. Uh, so this is a good compromise, I guess. But anyways, after you put the car in drive, uh, you just feel the whole car start to shake, and I would look at the tachometer, and you could just see it kind of fluctuating. Um, it was just like the car was trying to keep itself running, but wasn't really able to do so. I not really sure um, and it would eventually just die no matter what you did no matter how you feathered the throttle or whatever the car would just die um, and then you'd have to put it in neutral push the engine start button and it would turn over for a really long time it would just bump on the starter for a good five seconds before it would actually start um, and it never threw any codes or anything but it did feel a little down on power after um, it would die like that so I'm not really sure what the deal is there but uh, probably gonna take the car in next week um, it hasn't done it since I put the stock air filter back on but uh, it's not it's not that big of a deal as long as it starts back up I guess um, the transmission has really been making me mad lately um, to put it nicely it's just been so dim-witted and slamming into gears I was on six in College Station the other day just going and all of a sudden the car just decided to upshift into six it was running in fifth for some reason and all of a sudden it just slammed into six and made god-awful noises and just dang near gave me whiplash um, so the transmission is being kind of crappy uh, the engine, like I said, is making some interesting noises. There's a little bit of a tap, but I don't really think it's anything to worry about. Um, it's probably just a new direct injection noise or new, I don't know. This, this engine is so high strung, it's just really weird. Um, but yeah, overall the car's doing pretty well. I know the brakes are on their way out, that's for sure. Uh, they definitely feel pretty mushy. There's a lot of pedal travel. Um, so there, the car definitely does need a little bit of help, especially in the braking department right now. But it's not too terrible, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'll uh, probably put uh, Hawk HPS pads on it um, once these are worn out. Uh, those are really good pads, and then I'll do a different brake fluid swap too. So that'll be helpful. Um, I'll do kind of like a half throttle run. And that was 60 right there. Uh, one thing I do like about how the exhaust is set up right now, whenever it upshifts, it kind of burr. It kind of gives you a little, almost like a little DSG burp. Um, even though it's the farthest thing from a DSG. This is a an automatic and not a very good one as automatics go. Um, but other than that, the car's doing fine. I absolutely love these tires. They grip so well. So much better than the Motivos ever did. Um, I've done a few curvy road blasts on these and they're fantastic in the corners. Um, but again, the car is just really heavy. Uh, when you're trying to make it into a performance car so it's not um, all that grippy 
compared to like my friend's Fiesta ST or something like that. But for a car this big and this heavy, it handles really well. I still don't have the springs on it. Um, it's just got the strut brace and sway bar right now. Um, and it handles great. It does ride kind of choppy um, over small things. It irons out big bumps pretty well, but when you get like small little things in the road, um, it does get a little choppy at times. Um, but that's because of the sway bar and it doesn't really bother me. Um, obviously at some point it'll have the springs on it whenever I get around to doing that. Um, so it'll ride even rougher then. But anyways, um, if there's any questions you guys have about the car, anything you want to say, um, as long as it's not obnoxious, leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to those as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Well, I'm